Hello, this is Reggie with Reggie's Urban Jungle, and in today's video, we'll be going over some of my holdbacks from the 2021 Ball Python breeding season. I had 19 total clutches. Two of the clutches didn't make it, but I have some phenomenal holdbacks from the clutches that did. I hit a couple awesome combos. I hit some cool genetics. The sex ratio wasn't too good to me this season, but when you have a down season, you always have an up season. So hopefully the 2022 Ball Python breeding season is that up season for me so let's hop into it okay here we have the holdbacks from clutch number one the pairing was a ghi mojave female to a desert ghost male as you can see this little bitey one right here that is a ghi mojave paradox 100 percent het desert ghost female and here is her sister she is just a mojave 100 percent het desert ghost female these were the first two holdbacks of the 2021 ball python breeding season. These females are going to be integral in my future desert ghost projects, and I'm very excited to have them. As you can see, this little girl is jumpy, but she does have beautiful dorsal pattern, and her paradoxing goes around up here towards her head and at the tip of her tail. Her sister... Does not have any paradoxing, but she is a very, very bright Mojave. The Desert Go influence is amazing, and I'm very excited to have these two females in my rack to grow up. Here we have our third holdback of the 2021 Ball Python breeding season. The pairing was a female pie to a pastel clown 100% double head Desert Ghost hypo. And this was the only female out of the clutch. And I decided to hold her back. So she is 100% double head clown pied, 50% pos double head desert ghost hypo. And even if she doesn't prove out DG or hypo, it's always good to have double heads in your collection. And if she does prove out either desert ghost or hypo or both, that'll be an added bonus. But this girl's pretty awesome, even though she's normal. She's a very powerful normal. Nice belly pattern. Markers on the side, so nice pretty girl. This girl's getting antsy, so I'm gonna put her away. But again, this is a 100% double head clown pied, 50% pos double head desert ghost hypo female. Here's the hold back. From clutch number four, the pairing was a black pastel female to a pastel clown, 100% double het desert ghost hypo. This is a black pewter, 100% het clown, 50% pos double het desert ghost hypo female. So the black pewter is nice. She's 100% het clown, and if she proves out hypo, or DG, that'll be awesome. If she proves out both, that'll be even better. But I definitely needed a pewter, a black pewter, het clown female in my collection regardless. She has some pretty nice, uh, unique blushing or pattern down her spine. They did just eat, so I'm not going to work with her too much. But beautiful blushing. Nice clear belly. So... She's getting a little antsy, so I'm going to put her away. But again, black pewter, 100% head clown, pos double head, desert ghost hypo female. All right, and from clutch number five, the highlight of my entire breeding career, <coughs> excuse me, best snake I've ever produced. This is a female pastel desert ghost clown. 66% pos head hypo. She came from a pos triple head female and a clown pos double head. Both parents proved out to be 100% uh, for everything. So the mother proved out to be 100% triple head desert ghost clown hypo. The father proved out to be clown, a visual clown, 100% double head desert ghost hypo. Very excited for this female. She's pounding food. Beautiful growing. Hasn't missed a meal. Putting on size. Holding her colors phenomenally. Again, this is a pastel desert ghost clown female. 
She's also 66% pos head hypo. If she proves out, that'll be amazing. If not, I am glad to have her. The odds gods were definitely in my favor in this clutch. There were six clowns out of eight eggs. And yeah, her brother who I hit on was a super pastel hypo clown. Pos hat desert ghost. I hit a few other stuff that was pretty awesome in this clutch, but this girl is phenomenal. She's staying here, not going anywhere. Cannot wait to get her up to size. There's so many different directions I can go with her, but I'm very, very excited to have, have had hit this girl and let her be in my collection. So too excited. Glad she's here. But again, pastel desert ghost clown. 66% het hypo female. Doesn't get much better than this. And from clutch number six, this is actually the first male that I held back this season. The pairing was a fire spot nose, 66% pos head albino female bred to a leopard clown male. And here we have a spot nose leopard pos fire, 100% het clown male. His contrast is amazing his blacks are crisp burnt blacks and his gold is beautiful gold color he's amazing he has nice little blushings hopefully i don't get bit but i had to hold this male back i don't have spot nose in my male or in to my clown so held him back this entire clutch was all male so six males so he was the best out of all of them but very excited, very happy to have him. He is exceptional. So, again, this is a spot nose leopard pos fire 100% head clown male. Glad to have him in the collection. And here we have from clutch number seven. The mother was sold to me as a pastel, super pastel hypo, but she ended up being a lesser pastel hypo and the father was a leopard clown this guy is in shed but here we have a lesser leopard 100 percent double head hypo clown male he is in shed but this was my hold back male from this clutch again that is a lesser leopard 100 percent double head hypo clown and this girl over here, this is a, what I believe to be a pastel lesser leopard, 100% double head hypo clown, female. She is beautiful. Oh, they're both going to run away. But these are the holdbacks from that clutch. And I'm excited to have a little more in my hypo clown project. These two are going to grow up and be phenomenal phenomenal parts of this project they're getting antsy so i'm gonna put them away but again the male is a leper lesser double head hypo clown and the female is a pastel leper lesser double head hypo clown here we have clutch a hold back from clutch number eight it was just a simple pairing it was a het lavender albino female to a visual male lavender albino there were eight eggs, six eggs went bad during incubation, and there was a 100% het, het lavender albino female and this visual lavender albino female, so obviously kept her. As you can see, she has amazing colors, her stark whites, her burnt yellows, and you can see the gold flaking around the saddles on her body. Beautiful little girl. She was the runt. But she's definitely starting to put on her weight. She is a little dirty from the bedding, but you can see the gold flecking around her saddles. Beautiful example of lavender albino. The camera's not picking it up, but her whites are actually starting to turn that purplish lavender color on how they got their name. But this girl's definitely a hold back and grow her up and... Plug her into some double, triple, quadruple recessive projects. But again, just a visual lavender albino from clutch number eight is a female.
We have clutch number nine. The pairing was a pastel leopard to a desert ghost male. And here we have a, a 1.1 of pastel leopards, male, female. They're all going to try and bite me. And back here we have a 0 0.2 of pastel 100% head desert ghost. So I kept three females from this clutch and a male. Again, we have a 1.1 pastel leopard 100% head desert ghost along with a 0 0.2 pastel 100% head desert ghost. Can't have too many head desert ghost females and the pastel leopard male is going to be integral to breed to my other het desert ghost combo females that are going to be ready to breed here in the next year or two so this is probably the most holdbacks from one clutch i believe there were seven eggs and i held back or seven babies and i held back four of them so this one is having a rough shed but pastel het, het desert ghost pastel het desert ghost both females and a 1.1 pastel leopard 100% head dg we have from clutch number 12, we have a 1.1 pastel yellow belly slash gravel 100% head clown pos double head hypo desert ghost. The pairing was a female highway bred to a male pastel clown 100% double head desert ghost hypo. So I kept back a 1.1. Hopefully one or the other proves out gravel, if not both. I am really interested and excited about the Highway Clown project. And if I can hit on a Hypo Highway Clown or a Desert Ghost Hypo Highway Clown, I'll be excited. But again, kept back a 1.1 Pastel Yellow Belly Slash Gravel 100% Head Clown Pos Double Head DG Hypo Pair. Here we have from clutch number 14, we have the pairing was a inchy banana female bred to a leopard clown male. And here we have a inchy leopard banana 100% het clown male. He is also a female maker since he came from a female banana. This guy is awesome. You can see those oranges. Get a little dirt on them. You can see the oranges, the purples blend fade very well inchy leopard head stamp beautiful 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 he's also a hundred percent head clown and he is a female maker so i am very excited to get this boy up to size and plug to some of my visual clown females and some heads because he is beautiful and i can only imagine what his babies are going to look like and the fact that he's a female maker just adds icing on the cake. So again, this is a inchy leopard banana 100% het clown female maker male. So here we have a bamboo leopard pinstripe female from clutch number 15. The pairing was a female bamboo pinstripe bred to a leopard clown male. And this, this snake surprised me. Um, I wasn't expecting the pinstripe bamboo leopard to look this nice. I've never seen one before, but I didn't expect it to look this nice. She also has, it looks like she's about to start pooping, but she has this faded ringer around the backside of her tail. Her off-white tannish color is just amazing. And I love the dotted pattern that the pinstripe in the leopard give she also also has like a little tri-stripe look going on here she has three or four rows of pattern and she's just a phenomenal animal and i'm glad to uh have created her and she's in the collection and i can't wait to see her in a visual clown form so again this is a pinstripe leopard bamboo 100 percent head clown female we have a 1.1 trick 100% het desert ghost. This is clutch number 17. The pairing was a visual desert ghost male to a female trick. And I just decided to keep a 
this little guy is the definition of a ball python, but he's a little smaller than his sister, but I'm excited to uh, have Trick and Desert Ghost and to see what I can do with it. Um, yeah, again, you can never have too many het DG females with combos and Trick is coming up in the ranks. So I am, uh, yeah, I'm just excited get these guys and girls up to size and plug them into a few DG projects to see the contrast. I believe Canova just produced the um, Desert Ghost Hypo Trick combos, and those look pretty awesome. So, again, I'm excited to have a 1.1 Trick 100% Head Desert Ghost holdbacks in my collection. Last but not least, this is clutch number 19. The pairing was a super special female bred to a leopard clown male. And what is a snake video without snakes being in shed? These two are both in shed. These are both leopard clown. One, I'm sorry. Leopard specials 100% head clown. And they are two very different versions or examples of the leopard special. Again, they are both in shed. I can give you a sneak peek at their siblings that haven't sold yet that are still available if anyone is interested. But again, this is the female leopard special 100% head clown. And here is the male leopard special 100% head clown. Let me grab their siblings for you real quick so you can see some that are not in shed. So here goes the two siblings that aren't in shed. So this is what the leopard special looks like when it's not in shed this is a male this guy is spoken for already but again this is a leopard special 100 percent head clown and here goes a male special 100 percent head clown this guy is available if anyone is interested just contact me but Look how amazing those oranges and browns are in the contrast on the black of the special. And then look at the white outlining of the alien heads. The special clown project is amazing and special by itself. This is a phenomenal example of special. And they're 100% guaranteed to be special because the mother was a super special. So, again... Leopard clown, or I'm sorry, leopard special 100% head clown and a regular special head clown.